In today's video, I headed northwest from central Illinois across corn and bean fields into western Indiana to the city of Lafayette. The region had been snowed on a few days prior, but today was a rare winter day when it was clear with temps in the mid-40s. It was Saturday, December 21st at 10 a.m. The greater Lafayette area is a somewhat charming region. It's separated by two sides, Lafayette on the east and West Lafayette on the west. The two communities are separated by the Wabash River. The entire region is anchored by Purdue University in West Lafayette. That's where we'll start today. Then we'll drive through campus a little bit over the Wabash River and into downtown Lafayette. We'll pick things up on West State Street in West Lafayette, which goes through the heart of Purdue's campus. We'll take State Street East through campus and into the part of town where most of West Lafayette's retail and entertainment's located, AKA the bar scene. The area off in the distance at the bottom of the hill near the Wabash River is practically brand new. It's full of fancy new apartments for Purdue students. Now we're making our way towards downtown Lafayette. To the left is a region called Wabash Landing. It's also full of new retail and restaurants. And I accidentally took the roundabout twice. We're now crossing over the Wabash River into downtown Lafayette. I spent a number of years living here in Lafayette and grew to really like the place. It's a charming place, Lafayette is, filled with friendly people where you can make new friends quite easily. A lot of people are involved in the community and crime and cost of living are actually not all that bad. 
The only downside of living here really is the lack of things to do outside of the greater Tippecanoe County area. For some real fun, you have to drive an hour southeast to Indianapolis, which really isn't all that exciting, or two hours north to Chicago. But as it stands, this region of the greater Lafayette area is pretty much the best place you can live in Indiana, outside of the northern Indianapolis suburbs. Off to the right, you can see the Tippecanoe County Courthouse. Downtown Lafayette has more bars and restaurants per capita than any other city in Indiana. Up and down Main Street are several dozen options for dining and drinking. I spent a number of years here, as I already said, and I can attest to the sheer number of drinking holes. There's actually not a lot to do in the greater Lafayette area for fun, except belly up to a bar, especially in the long winter months. Off to the left is the famous Lafayette Theater, where apparently Lloyd Av, Latin Knight, and Polly Shore are coming big time. Now we're going to turn around and head back downtown again on South Columbia Street and head back over the Wabash River one more time to see an additional perspective.
Off to the distance, once again, is the east side of Purdue's campus in all its glory. I also wanted to quickly show you the central part of Purdue's campus. This is Ross Aid Stadium where the Purdue football team plays. And we're going to drive behind the stadium to check out Mackey Arena. This is Mackey Arena, where the Purdue's basketball teams play. It's located on John Wooden Drive, named after the all-time great basketball coach and Purdue alum. That's Lafayette and West Lafayette, Indiana, in a nutshell, folks. Hey guys, if you learned something new or you just like this video, make sure to like it. And if you really like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get all of our videos about what it's like to live in different places in America. Peace.